Hello loves, I'm grateful to have another opportunity to share with you my experience, knowledge, and wisdom during our ascension process. Yay! What spiritual teachers don't tell you, part three, son, tres. I got this information today, you guys, and you loves, and I really want to share it with you guys in hopes to inspire you and to you doing your own research in this topic. Number two, hopefully that it will activate uh, your powers. Number three, will ignite this curiosity within you. And yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Essentially, you guys, you loves, you know I got your back, okay? I'm not here to put you in a passive state. I'm, I don't want you to watch a 15, 20 minute video of me rambling on spiritual knowledge, esoteric knowledge that you can find yourself and you can read and apply it, right? Um, that's not my gig, you guys. I want to give you tools that I've learned, tools that I've experienced, tools that I'm learning and working with, and share that with you so you can, you know, use those tools and create your own practice, your own process, you know, your own adventure with those tools and share that with the community because that's typically what it is. And this one is super, super exciting to tell you that that some spiritual teachers don't tell you how they obtain their psychic powers or their paranormal, uh, paranormal powers, etc. Cetera, et cetera. You know what I mean? Like, how do they get from point A to point P, point A to point B, right? In the middle, like, what was, what was, how did they get there? Some teachers disclose it, some don't. I've, I've done this, I've done did. Woo! I've disclosed some information in some of my other videos. I haven't disclosed all of them. However, um, there are many, 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 many psychic abilities or human capabilities that are outside our realms of, of more than just talent. And we can cultivate that if we decide to take part into it. And hopefully this is what this video is about, you know, you, you know <laughs> to share with you what's up. Um, you guys know the let's let's talk about some of the the list of you know psychic abilities, right? Okay, um, we have the astral projection. Okay, you guys should know astral projection, out of body experience or uh, near death experience, or reading, automatic writing, channeling. Uh, everyone knows the clairs, right? The clairaudience, right? The claircognizant, the clairvoyance, the clairsentience, the clairgustance, and the clairolfaction. Then you have divination, you have empathy, ESP abilities, which is extrasensory perception. Uh, you also have intuition, levitation, psychic surgery, Reiki for healing, uh, precognition, psych uh, psychometry, uh, pyrokinesis, psychokinesis, telepathy, animal telepathy, psychic powers. I know I'm not looking at you guys, but you can, right? That's just a list of some, right? I got this on the internet. And that is just a list of some. And when you go and you look at a spiritual teacher, most of them have activated some, some type of psychic ability. And you can totally tell, right, from the teachers that I've named previously from, from this, like, little small series. You have Krista Raisa. Uh, she is a medium, medium, right? So she's a channel from for the Orion Council. So she does this channeling for... Uh, those be, uh, star beings and she relates the messages uh, as a medium which is really cool that's what I'm right now that's one of my goals you guys is uh, to really cultivate the relationship I have with the immortal realm of beings of love and light of the sixth dimension I know that sounds a bit whack <laughs> however it's real because I've experienced it, and you guys, I know it can sound very crazy, but honey, it exists, okay? It exists. You can believe me. You can try to cultivate it. I've been trying to cultivate this for a, 
some couple of years now, so please give me some patience. I can't channel them like Chris Teresa can, but I can definitely get in the energy, their, their frequency and vibration. Um... Uh, let me see, uh, I'm trying to think of Matt Kahn, uh, he's another one of my uh, favorite, um, spiritual teachers. Now, he has Clara Cognizant and Clairvoyance. And clairsentience, for sure. Di divination, for sure. Uh, empathy, intuition. That's that's for sure. His 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 psychic powers, right? So you could always mix and match these powers, and you know, the purpose of acquiring or activating these powers, loves. It's not to to be, oh, well, I'm better than you, or, oh my gosh, I'm like, I can totally levitate, and you can't. <laughs> Which sounds so egotistical, as you could say, if you could see it and hear it. But it's one for your highest potential, as well as the highest potential for everyone else. So when you, be, when you activate these powers within you, because everyone has the, the capability of doing so, uh, you ignite that within yourself and then people around you can definitely notice some certain change. Your, your practice is def it changes and it, you know, makes the, makes your audience or makes your community, your, your sphere of influence to be curious of like, what is, how and what are you doing? Uh, so, for, for me, for sure, you guys, I am working on Reiki healing right? That's for sure. It's called psychic surgery, uh, <laughs> which is ability to create energetic healing. That uh, mama, I am getting that to the T, honey, to the T, Reiki healing. And a lot of people uh, get initiated. You don't need to get initiated. You can literally go look at the signs online. Um, because everyone can do it, you guys. You can be in energy healing and create your own process. Because that's what I'm trying to do is, you know, have the initial foundation of Reiki. But also incorporate my uh, signature within the Reiki healing. And I'm not talking... I'm not, If you want a session with me, then go to Fiverr. I could, let me just tell you that. So I'm working on that. I'm also uh, working on divination which is using uh or observing the natural signs of the universe right so it's like dowing tarot tea leaves crystal balls pendulums uh, things like that where you can look at it where divination for me i use pendulums for sure pendulum is something that i am uh, really into and it does help me which Hopefully, one day, I don't need the pendulum, but that is on its way. But I see things in symbols, so, like, that goes with clairsentient, ability to feel, right? Sense something beyond the physical realm, right? So, I feel like, uh, um, no, symbols are probably Claire's, they're images. Symbols are images, Maybe clairvoyant, but it's not it's not there yet, you guys. It's not there yet. Uh, but yeah, for sure, clairsentient, because I can definitely feel some energy. Empathy, for sure, empathy. Everyone, a lot of star seeds are empathetic. Uh, intuition. Now, everyone has intuition. It just depends on how well we use our intuition. And that's typically the first power that we start with is intuition for sure right the intuition knowing that you need to take this route or knowing that you need to take this action is always the first step and the more you listen to your intuition the more it will guide you and that's you know one of the hardest parts due to the fact that we 
in living in this reality, we have to use our mind, our intellectual brain to guide us in a smart way or practical way or whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can go more into detail. I can give you examples. Um, for example, Crystal Reza is one of my favorite spiritual YouTubers. She's a channeler. She's been doing it for years now and she's been, you know, she's probably a master. She masters the channeling. And it's amazing to see. Also, Matt Kahn, he's definitely clair clairvoyant, clairsentient, uh, clair uh, cognizant, clairaudient, divination, intuition. You know, that's for sure him. Um, Flight the Boss is another one, another one of my like favorite uh, spiritual YouTubers. He's mastered uh clear clear cognizant oh i am sorry out of body experience and astral projection for sure for sure those are some that he does um but yeah you guys it's amazing like you can like mix them up if you like uh yeah, you, you have to practice it. You guys, if you want to know, you think it's too late, it's not too late. You should read the book, Renaissance Soul. Uh, maybe I'll put the information down below, but I think I put a YouTube video on like books and stuff that I read. But Renaissance Soul, it allows you to calculate how long, how much you can focus on certain areas in your life, like how many years, and it's really cool. Uh, we're Renaissance soul. If I'm, if you're watching this video, you're a Renaissance soul because that's, I'm a Renaissance soul. And uh, but yeah, you guys, you know, these are something that you know, physical. These psychic abilities are within us at all times. It's just if we choose to, t to activate and to use them without being judged or without being shameful, then they're, it's welcome, you guys. It's totally welcome. And these, you know. Spiritual teachers are using these psychic abilities to allow them to acquire more information, to achieve their goals, and to master their self, essentially, is what they're doing. And I just want to share that with you, just in case you don't know. And if you go watch a spiritual teacher, you're like, oh, what are their spiritual powers? Or what are the psychic abilities that they activate? How does it resonate with me? And... Uh, how can I relate to this? How can I put my own mission into this power, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, yay! I know, I'm super excited. Do you, Have you activated any of your psychic abilities? If so, link a uh, message down below. If you want me to do a Reiki healing on you, go to fiverr.com, look up uh, Rainbow Love, Christian Alvarez, and then you'll find a gig. I, you, um, I channel, I... I channel energetically the the help of the immortal royal beings of the love and light of the sixth dimension so i'm super excited for that so the it's really cool uh and he, very healing uh however yeah just let's have a conversation about this what do you guys think about it how do you feel about psychic powers do you think it's real do you think it's fake etc okay this is too long all right i will see you later bye loves see you later bye